in this video, we'll take a closer look at the three camera-centric add-ons that comes pre-installed on the new Zen phone handsets, starting with the built-in photo editor. One of the benefits of having Android KitKat pre-installed on a smartphone, like the Asus Zenfone, is that users can immediately take advantage of Google's new and improved built-in photo editor. Immediately after snapping a picture, users can edit that picture right away using the Zenfone's built-in photo editor. Mind you, we're not just talking about the usual filters here, rather an extensive list of non-distracted tweaks that users can apply to their snaps to fine-tune it according to their liking. Inside the photo editor, you can apply a filter on your photo like you usually do on Instagram, add a frame to your snap, transform or crop your photo, or customize your picture manually by adjusting a wide array of presets for exposure, contrast, and or apply Vine, just to name a few. Once you're content with your image, just hit on the save icon on the upper left corner of the screen and you're done. Next, we'll take a look at the feature called All Smiles, which, as the name implies, ensures that everyone on a group picture is smiling or looks good on photo. In order to do this, just select the All Smile mode on the Zen Phone's native camera app. Once there, the handset will take 5 sequential pictures when the user press the shutter button. After that, users can tap on a particular face on the picture, which will bring up 5 selections which the user can choose from. Users can do this to all of the faces in, on the picture, and once done, they can just tap on the save icon and the phone will store the photo with the selected faces. Finally, we'll showcase the Zen phone's ability to take pictures in low-light conditions. To test this, we were tasked to take a picture without using the built-in flash of a plastic butterfly that is placed inside an ordinary box with two tiny LED lights inside. And while we're at it, we also decided to pit the Zenfone 5 against three other flagship handsets, starting with the HTC One M8, which is equipped with four ultra-pixel rear camera. Unfortunately, HTC's flagship smartphone's rather gimmicky rear camera didn't yield any positive result and just gave us a black picture. Next up, we have the Sony Xperia Z2 which features a 20.7 megapixel rear camera. Sadly, it suffered the same fate as the handset before it and failed to capture the butterfly inside the box. The next contender in our list is the beast from Nokia, the Lumia 1020 which boasts a 41 megapixel rear camera and a Carl Zeiss lens. As you can see, the Lumia 1020's big-ass rear camera was able to pick up the faint silhouette of the butterfly, 
It's not that clear to say the least, but it's significantly better than the two previous competitors. And finally, we have the Asus Zenfone 5, which has the least amount of pixels among the group. Will it emerge the victor over the Lumia 1020 in terms of low light performance, or will it suffer the same fate as the HTC One and Xperia Z2? Despite having the most modest camera setup among the contenders, the Asus Zenfone 5's 8 megapixel camera took the clear shot of the butterfly inside the box. Needless to say, the Asus Zenfone lineup is not a pushover in terms of camera performance, particularly in low light conditions. The Asus Zen phones are probably among the highly anticipated handsets locally because it combines decent specs with an enticing price tag. And in this video, we were able to showcase that not only these Zen phones are competitively priced, but their meek cameras can also go up against the big boys of the smartphone world. We hope you liked this short video and join us again next time. Thanks for watching, guys.